Hello YouTube. Right, this is an excellent little short film on the BBC Two Daily Politics website. Uh, it quite tickled me, and it's entitled How to Live Without Banks. Enjoy. I'm having to film it directly from the website because I couldn't download it, so enjoy. So Tom, we're in the city. Banks everywhere, the grand mummy of banks around the corner, but you don't like banks. Well, I think in common with everybody else in the country, they're heartily fed up um, with their mismanagement of money and their selfishness, their greed. But I don't think anything can really stop them. I don't think government can stop them. And certainly our own moaning is not going to stop them. But I do have a plan, an alternative. All right, well, let's check it out. So let me get this right. What is this plan predicated on? Well, I think very simply the idea of boycotting the banks. Well, well, what does that mean? It just means that you take all your money away from them and take it elsewhere. Well, we'll do what? Well, we're going to go shopping. <laughs> sovereigns. Right. Um, that one's 1918. Um, that's George V, the reign of George V. And it's a, just under a quarter of an ounce of 22 karat gold. So that's actually worth something. Um, the money that we use every day, the notes, is not real money, it's a promissory note. It's solid, it's romantic. And it's worth something. And it's worth And might be worth more. And it might be worth more, and it, it goes up a, generally a few percent each year. Um, which is a lot more than you're going to get from your savings accounts, which generally is sort of 0.5%, 0.05% or nothing at all. Yeah. Excellent. All right. See you again in a few months. Take care. Oh, there we go. Right, let's see what we've got here. I've got to say, Tom, actually, hang on a second. I know you like gold, and it's fun, and this is, you know, it's a little gimmicky and whatever. It does hold its value. But practically, this is not something all of us could do, is it really? I mean, it's not practically useful. Well, it actually is, you know. Um, if you could use it with a small business. For example, I'm the editor of the Idol magazine, and what, I've done, what I'm doing with these 20 gold coins is I'm going to pay the contributors for them. How do they feel about that? And they, they love it, um, because it's, it's, it's a little bit of savings. They can sell it if they want to, they can keep it, they can give it away, whatever. Um, but it, it, it's real money. So just by doing that, I'm starting to get the idea of getting these things back into circulation. But, you know, you could, you could give it to the corner shop. And any independent business, your mechanic, you know, you could agree. It's very easy to see what the, the value is that day of the coin. And you're sure getting one over on the banks. At the same, and the same time, you're getting one over on the banks and, and the government. You're, you're, you're removing your money from that system. It's real, it's beautiful, and it's romantic. Let's go spend some. Well, that was quite refreshing to see, especially from the BBC. Um, just to iron out one fact that he said there. He said uh, gold generally makes a couple of percent per year uh, against cash. When actually in the UK over the last 10 years, it's actually averaged uh, over 13%. So uh, I'll put a link in the sidebar. If you'd like to look at the original, then by all means uh, do so. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.